everybody, it's Joan Taffender here, and I just wanted to make a, a video to announce that my husband and I got pregnant, and we got pregnant doing IVF, and this is fairly new news. We actually found out on August 18th that we that we were pregnant, the HCG was high, and then on the 20th we went back for a second appointment and found out that the HCG was doubling and tripling the way it was supposed to. So they actually thought that we were pregnant with twins possibly because those numbers are supposed to double but they actually tripled so but now we found out that it's only one so that's awesome and amazing and I have been putting off making a video for a long time and um, just following the whole story I did I have blogged so I've put a lot of um, information starting last year uh, January around January 2014 on the whole journey to get pregnant and the doctor asked me to write up the story, the whole full detailed story of uh, how this all came about and I'm planning to do that and I will be publishing that eventually, I don't know exactly when, but I just wanted to keep a log of the whole journey and I feel like I'm a little behind because I really should have started last year, but it doesn't matter because now we're here. So um, there was a lot of things that I had to prepare for. I mean, I had a lot of nutritional deficiencies. Um, I was starting to go into perimenopause. Um, I mean, there was just one thing after another. The doctor actually canceled six cycles um, before doing the embryo transfer because my lining wasn't thick enough or the progesterone was too high at the wrong time of the month. And so all these little things were going on and really it looked pretty impossible. I really didn't think that it was going to work at all. I started to really convince myself that that it wasn't going to work. And I started paying, cluing into, focusing on the negative really and, and listening to stories of people that where the mom had died in childbirth or something like that. My great grandmother actually did die in either in childbirth or right after childbirth. I'm not sure of the details. And um, so you know, I had a lot of fear. I had the fear had been mounting because certain things came up that had never happened before while we were in the process. So I was even more like, wow, okay. So I had gotten SIBO when uh, that was last year, May of uh, 2014. I got SIBO where after I ate just a, a bowl of cold salad, I had doubled over in abdominal pain, just very bad cramping in my in my bowel, my basically my abdomen, but. It found out later it was SIBO and I had to do all you know treatments for that and um, and then on top of that I found out that well an egg allergy which I didn't even think was that bad ended up turning my whole body red um, especially my face and my neck and my chest and everything and uh, essentially you know it's sort of a symptom of leaky gut that had gotten worse so I'm thinking that you know I'm moving forward I'm getting better and better because I was feeling a lot better but everything was starting to shift and change and so it gave me fear that maybe things wouldn't work out maybe they weren't supposed to so anyway I am super excited and super happy my husband was like shedding a tear on the day that we found out and I was like more in shock I was just I couldn't believe that this actually worked and um, I had you know you you sort of don't want to set yourself up for a failure or because the odds are so incredibly low especially after age 43 to have your own embryo I mean your own egg and sperm together because many times that process you have to use someone else's sperm or someone else's egg or something which is awesome for people that want to do that um, that was just not something that we wanted to do. So it was just an absolute amazing miracle that this even happened. And so it's been a long journey and I've done a lot of things to prepare my, my mind and my body for this whole, uh, for this whole, the amazing, like, I don't even know what to call it, of the uh, amazing miracle of birth, but it's also a lot of work. It's, it's a lot of work on the body. There's so many things that you have to make sure you know that you're getting proper amounts of nutrition so that the baby grows properly and that uh, the baby and me are healthy so um, I am going to be writing that soon and I do have some resources already written up for fertility and also for um, leaky gut and SIBO and um, candida which is something I had before and I had to overcome all those things to be able to get pregnant and have a healthy baby so that will be, I will be updating and reporting on the healthiness of this 
pregnancy and how it is all going um, it's so far it's already uh, worse about six weeks now and I actually saw the heartbeat today my husband didn't get to see it because I went to my OBGYN who actually helped me to figure out a ton of things with my thyroid which was one of the first things that I started to correct in 2013 to help with this whole process and then because my thyroid was I had hypothyroid and she discovered that and she also helped me to figure out the MTHFR gene which I have and and what I need to do, what kind of vitamins and things to take so that you can um, sort of almost like override. You're not really overriding because you, your genes are your genes, but you don't have to inherit. I don't even actually know how to explain it very well, but I was reading in the Biology of Belief um, by Bruce Lipton that the, what he describes, and he talks about it, when you take methylated vitamins, B vitamins, uh, methylated folate, how that sort of overrides the genetic what's supposed to happen, which is really mind-boggling actually. Um, it bypasses a whole process in your body, so your body doesn't have to convert everything because you you're kind of missing an enzyme when you have that. So as you can hear, there's a lot of details and there's a lot of things that happen and it's, it's so multi-layered. And as I said, you can go read on the blog. You can go to my website at uh, totalhealthempowerment.com and you can click on blog and you can read back on many things. I haven't obviously started making videos until now. Uh, I did make a few videos last year um, but things have changed and you know just been they, they it's just a journey really it's a journey and things are always changing your body's always changing um, things are changing so what you eat and how you treat things and I shouldn't say treat because there's no cure treat or mitigate any disease but um, anyway, I look forward to sharing this journey with anyone who's interested in listening and wants help. Um, I have a program that is almost finished. It's called Digestion Boot Camp. And basically, it's a, a conglomerate, really, of all of the things that I've learned along the way. And digestion being the root, being the root of what was wrong with me and really the root of health. Because getting the proper nutrients is like the key, the most important thing. Um, because it, it's connected to everything. It's connected to every disease state. It's connected to um, a, so many different diseases. Um, and so, and there's things you can do. There's hope, there's help, there's, there's, um, there's a way to figure this out. So I just want to share the resources and the information that I've learned along the way. And if it can help you, then that would be incredible. It would bless my life so much to see this information help other people. So uh, I look forward to sharing this as we move along. So thanks for listening. And again, it's TotalHealthEmpowerment.com. And you can, uh, there's a lot of information on there now. Um, but I will be continuously updated as I get um, different things going. There's products that I've used and every, you know, a lot of things you can find right on there. So I will talk to you later.